Pink Whitney, part two. Or should I say period two? Yeah, get it? Yeah. Anyway. So I put out a video with three different drinks for Pink Whitney. It took off. It was popular. So I'm back with part two. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I might even make a part three. And heck, if you like it, check down below in the description on how you can help me make more drinks. Because drinking ain't cheap. Anyways, let's get to the cocktails. I'm going to start off with a fan suggested drink. This came from a YouTube comment. No name, no proportions even. Uh, so I'm going to try and whip it together. And I'm naming it the Whitney and Cream. Oh yes. So we're gonna start off with a shaker tin here. It's gonna be an ounce and a half of the Pink Whitney Vodka. The next thing we're gonna do is take a little bit of whipped vodka. And I used three quarters of an ounce because I feel like any more than that would be just too strong would overpower everything and we don't want that. Next I'm using cranberry grape cranberry juice. Um, if you don't have this and you want to use regular cranberry, go right ahead, but it's going to be three quarters of an ounce of that. We're going to take some ice and give this a nice shake. All right, now that we have that shaken up, let's take a highball glass of some sort. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And we're gonna fill it with ice. Nice ice. Gonna strain this drink off. Get a nice little light pink color. It's like a pink lemonade, would be, should be. And if you did it right, there should be a little bit of room at the top for some ginger ale. I'll leave it up to you if you decide you don't like ginger ale, you want to use soda water instead, that's fine. Also a good idea. Uh, but that is the Whitney and cream. Pretty solid, tastes like a, I don't know, a red cream soda or something. So this second cocktail, I am dubbing the Penalty Box. It formerly was a drink called the Absolute Trouble. Uh, replaced the main ingredient with Z Pink Whitney. So this drink's really easy, really easy to make. We're going to start with a shaker tin and put two ounces of the Pink Whitney vodka. Mm. We we'll follow that up with some Grand Marnier. You can use triple sec if you'd like, but uh, I enjoy a good Grand Marnier. Maybe three quarters of an ounce of Grand Marnier. We're going to finish up with some grenadine. And I use stuff that says cane sugar, pomegranate juice in the ingredients, uh, not roses, um, not roses, grenadine. So, anywho. Be a half of an ounce of a nice grenadine. We're going to add a little bit of ice and give it a nice shake. Okay, I'm going to pour this into a cocktail glass. Strain it, I should say, because we don't want the ice. Oh yeah. And there is no garnish for this because you don't get garnishes in the penalty box. It's the sin bin for a reason. Not too shabby. Now this last drink's a little more complex than the others. It's basically a Whitney Sour and uh, just a riff on a traditional whiskey sour. 
I think is pretty damn good. You may not. In which case, you have bad taste. Just kidding. Don't get all butthurt. So, basically what we're going to do is make a whiskey sour drink using some Pink Whitney. I've adjusted it a little bit to account for the fact that Pink Whitney is a sour pink lemonade type flavored drink. Now, you don't have to use an egg. I recommend using an egg. Get a beautiful frothiness when you do it. What we're going to do is use an egg white. And we're just going to roll this back and forth in the shell until the white separates out of the yolk. If you're using pasteurized egg white, probably roughly a teaspoon or a half an ounce will do the job. If you don't want to use egg, you can use uh, pineapple juice, just about a half ounce of pineapple juice, or you can actually use the stuff out of chickpeas, the uh, juice that comes in chickpeas. It works as well. So once we have that in a shaker tin, we are going to take our Pink Whitney, and we are going to take a jigger and measure out two ounces of Pink Whitney. Put that right into the shaker tin, and follow it up with some fresh lemon juice. For the fresh lemon juice, I'm going to use a full ounce of freshly squeezed juice. If you find that the Pink Whitney makes that a little too sour for your liking, you go ahead and adjust accordingly. I'm not going to judge you. If you think it's too sour, make the tweaks, do what you got to do. It's all good. We're going to finish off with an ounce of Demerara syrup. If you want to use a regular simple syrup, be my guest. This is basically a simple syrup using Demerara sugar instead of regular sugar. So simple enough. And we're going to actually dry shake this. So we're going to put the shaker tin right over the top, dead on. Give it a smack. Shake it probably for about 10 seconds. If you've done well and haven't splattered stuff all over you, we're going to add some ice to the mix. Nice little mix of cracked, crushed ice going in there. And we're going to shake it again until it's nice and cool. Now, this particular drink you want to give it a real nice hard shake. The more vigorous you can shake the thing, the nice, nice frothy foam head you're going to get if you're using the egg white. If you choose not to do the egg white, you won't get that frothy foam head on top. It's still going to taste good. At least I think it tastes good. But like I said, you won't get that frothiness on the top. We're going to double strain this. The reason we're double straining it is basically because we don't want any little chunks of ice getting through. Nothing like that. And as you can see it's pretty thick foam coming through there. It's actually so thick it doesn't even want to go through the mesh strainer very well. A lot of times what they'll do with uh, drinks like this, with the uh, whiskey sours like this, is they'll take Angostura bitters and just drip a couple little dashes on the top and it'll float on that foam. And you can take a Q-tip or something, not a Q-tip, oh geez. A toothpick and swirl that around 
There it is. That is a Whitney Sour. Delicious. Nice combination of sweet and sour. Not too sweet. Not too sour. In my beard, most likely. But on another note, like I said in the beginning, if you like this recipe video and you want to see more like it, give me a thumbs up. I can make a part three if you're interested. And don't forget, I do a lot of other stuff. If you want to see cocktail recipes that you can make right at home, click down below, hit the bell icon, subscribe, bell icon. You'll get notified anytime I post a new drink. So until next time, thank you for watching this. And remember, if this idiot can do it, then so can you.